Self attention is very commonly used in deep learning these days. For example, it is one of the main building blocks of the transformer paper, which is fast becoming the go to deep learning architecture for several problems, both in computer vision and language processing. For example, all these famous papers like BERT, GPT, XLM, Performer use some variations of the transformers, which in turn is built using self attention layers as building blocks. So let's try to understand self-attention in this video. Let's take this simple example from language processing where the inputs are these four words, Hi, how are you? It could be the problem of translation where your input will be a translated sentence of the input or it could be an input to a chatbot where the response will be, I'm good, how can I help? We first pass the inputs through an embedding layer. It could be anything like a Vertovec or even another neural network which converts the input into numeric outputs as machine learning systems can only deal with numbers. The outputs of the embedding layer are vectors x1 to 4 corresponding to the four words. The main point to note here is that each vector is independent of each other. That means that x1 doesn't know anything about x2 and x2 doesn't know anything about x3 and so on. Now let's first form a matrix W star. In this matrix the value at each location is the dot product of the vectors. For example the value at location W12 is the dot product of vectors x1 and x2. The main property of this matrix W star is that the values are not normalized and the values can be more than one. In machine learning we like numbers to be between 0 and 1. So to address this we normalize the matrix along the horizontal direction so that the sum of the values is always 1 in this direction. Let's call the new matrix as W. After we compute this W matrix, we stack the inputs x1 to 4 to form a matrix X and then transpose it to form X transpose. The product of these two matrices leads to our output matrix Y. The speciality of Y is that it's now context aware. By context, what I mean is that each word knows which word is nearby or rather each word is influenced by the presence of its neighboring word. For example, the presence of hi next to how is known to how and the same applies for other words too. If you're more of a visual person then this could probably be a geometric illustration of self-attention. On the left is without attention but on the right we can see the result of applying attention. The representations have moved slightly closer together because each word is influenced by the neighboring word. And this is a naive case where the feature dimensions is just two. But practically, the feature dimension of each word is very high, say 64 or 128 dimension, and it's impractical to visualize the features this way. What we just saw is a very simplified version of self-attention. Why? Because we just took the dot product of two feature vectors and computed the weight matrix W. However, what we do want is to be able to learn the weights. So this matrix W should be learned from data or in other words, self-attention has to be parametric. In my next video, let's look at how we can extend this to make it learnable. Thank you very much for watching.